So if you saw that intro, you know that I am very proud of that party event on in my Growing Together Let's Play. And I thought that would be the perfect place for me to teach you tips on how to make great parties in your game. Hey, I'm Sasha. Welcome to my space. So right now you're looking in cast and the first important tip is always to pre-plan and I pre-plan outfits for parties. I tend to have sometimes themes and so the theme you were looking at was a bumblebee theme. And so you're looking at right now an infant sim. Her name is Malak and she is the bumblebee baby. That's just her nickname and everybody who watches the Let's Play literally they just call her the cute bumblebee and stuff like that. So if you zoom in right now you could see that I like to do CC shopping stuff like that. Almost in an advance i'm not gonna lie probably like i think that episode was released around end of november i believe and i probably had this outfit ready since september so if you kind of know in the future i would definitely recommend if you know a couple of weeks from now that you want to have a birthday for a specific sim plan like look for the cc so like right now like i want her to have like a bumblebee swatch and then here i got her like shoes and i believe i had given her an extra outfit where yeah she has a backpack that's a bumblebee i think i was able to look out because her hair the bows changed so for me i was able to look out that her hair was like this so you could see like i pre-plan and make sure not only her but like every sim that's invited to the birthday i wanted them to wear like a yellow and black theme so you could see for the child sim i just had share if you look closer you could see that she has bumblebees on her outfit and you could see the grandma um you know this is the outfit she had and you know again i wanted every sim pre-planned outfits you know so here is their outfits you could see she has like a black thing for here she has the black heels so i just wanted to show y'all that it could be done for your sims this is um the bumblebee's father i gave the parents two outfits so i always feel like it's always nice just in case you want something somewhat formal and something that's more relaxed a vibe for the parents so you could see even her mother this is how her outfit was again the whole black and yellow vibe and then I kind of went for like a dress where it was again formal and somewhat like very cute so if you saw the episode you'd know and it's just somewhat I guess a behind the scenes where she was wearing two different outfits for the occasion so yeah I think that it's always nice to pre-plan it really helps so that you know the day of the event when it falls onto the sims calendar that you won't be like off guard you won't be like going through it you may not have a hard time because you've sort of mapped out so cast is completed uh, maybe food you've already pre-planned the sims meals you might have pre-planned a lot of other stuff so we're gonna go ahead and actually go into the home right now so that we could go ahead with food decor and all the other stuff so let's all go through that and if you remember in my previous video i already talked about mods if you did not watch the mod version of this video i'll have either an i card up for you or i'll link it in the description for you so you can watch part one which was about the mod so when it comes to gameplay i recommend especially if it's like an important and important event that you feel like it's really gonna take all day because since you know how their time goes by quickly i recommend using the calendar and actually including the holiday in and i'm not gonna lie it really helps so you can see Melak, um she's the baby that birthday that i'm hosting for and i gave the symbol to be a bumblebee i'm just gonna press edit just so that y'all could see it from like you know the whole editing place for adding a holiday for yourself so this is what i do i do have a more icons mod i believe it could be by little miss san or zerbu i will try to find it for y'all maybe just put that as a little extra for y'all but yeah see so ba baking because it's a birthday decorating invite guests open presents and give gifts i think that's a great traditions for a birthday so i didn't put a certain theme for like the decor but i could if i wanted to add a spring decor maybe it would be or i could whatever i want honestly but the thing is like everybody in the neighborhood is going to celebrate businesses sometimes it can be a little overwhelming for that so i might myself if i wanted to put up decorations if you know how to use seasons then you know what i'm talking about exactly i didn't do that for this event here's the outdoor of the event that i had in the sims home so i also like i said when you pre-plan you know where you're gonna have the event that my main sim does not live here malak's home this is not her home this is her grandparents home so i went with decor again that was for bumblebee aesthetic so these balloons are actually like single individual 
individual balloons that I placed myself one by one by one if we go into build mode and I could just show you so of course I use bb.move object and the core is so important y'all see that you can see it right now like but this is by SYB unicorn party collection so I might just uh, show y'all some uh, CC recommendations but I will be like telling you straight up I did get a lot of my recommendations from Ocean JC Sims and Amelie who uh, I will put their links for what they recommend for parties and stuff like that in the Sims and then of course I did my own research and found some of these like CC objects and also I use in game like this one says inclusive bar party banner and basically this is from seasons um, if you have the pa expansion pack so you just put it like somewhere like oops sorry y'all let me just go ahead and go down here so what you do is you'll just place it here right and for me my color theme was black and yellow right so maybe your theme is green and orange or purple and green or whatever color it is so you might be lucky and maybe somebody if it's different colors maybe somebody has a recolor out there where maybe you could find it i didn't look for recolors but if i will like one day for sure i'll try to see if i can find one you know or maybe one day i'll learn how to make a recolor and make the recolor myself you know so um again I just wanted to go through quickly with some of the decor idea. I even used like this bumblebee floating thing, which is from uh, TSR. It's by Simcredible. So, and it moves, it's out of, it like literally moves. I'll show y'all when I go back into live mode. And then um, here you could see the baby shower sign. I just used one of the, like it was from, um, I forgot who it's by, but one second, let me just open it for y'all. And it's by um, Brittany Pinks. And I believe you could just, um, I'll link it for y'all, but I think Rex like adopted some of these like mods. And even though, yes, there's there's objects but there's like events related to some of these mods that you can have for event like it's really great and this is by SYB I believe and then this is by again Brittany Brittany Pinks I think but yes and then here um, this is by SYB again so you just look again you just look at the colors that you want for your sims and again my sims again this is a family gameplay type of like thing so you could just see I did custom recolors of like the family and I wanted to add like a big photo of Malak for her birthday um, because again she's wearing a bumblebee outfit here right now we're gonna go into here again this is from seasons but let's go ahead inside here which i do want to actually go back into live mode quickly um the, the event is on we're going to talk about the event and what kind of exactly how to work it but yeah here it is you just turn it on watch and it moves out and i just thought it was fun to do it as like the place when you're about to enter the home just like do you see the vibes like i don't know and yeah i kind of played with the dark yellows and like light yellow soft yellow colors i didn't mind using both oh no the wall here is a little glitched i'll definitely work on that oh by the way fun fact the home is by mr olkin shout out to mr olkin but yes if you press play here look you'll see oh, that well. like you could see there's something falling down you could see like there's like it says b because you know she's a bumblebee baby and you can see there's more cc and like you know toys and stuff again because she's a bumblebee baby say example i have another series where i call one of my the babies like i call her a froggy baby and if i ever did one party for the froggy baby i definitely feel like i would would probably do something similar but like it would be green and blue maybe type of aesthetic you know so i definitely feel like of course one of the things that makes it so fun for parties is just think of the not only the vibe but like say example i created once a pink birth like a pink a pink birthday party i believe or, or was it a strawberry birthday for my sim her name is ada and if you've ever watched my let's plays i totally recommend just looking at how i come up with some parties i always come up with my own like unique ideas that help me like just kind of like do something fun for my gameplay i i feel like you know it will probably inspire you so that you could probably also create some fun kind of like your own creative way of gameplay yeah so of course by the way because it was a birthday party i had like you know gifts that were placed so some of this can be again in-game stuff like i imagine certain sims got her these stuff so some of them are from around the sims 4 or panda sama so like some of the stuff i have to actually memorize and move it to their home because again this is not where malak lives right now yeah again i went with some of those like pink blush pink type colors and yeah so what i recommend is that you just add these sort of decors that will really match again look there's a comforter playing thing and some maybe cute prints that maybe i could feel like i add to her room and here this one is a birthday set 
walk like decals i forgot who it's by let me go ahead and check for y'all oh yeah this is again by britney uh britney P P pinks if y'all know that modder um this one is uh yeah this is by platinum lux the letters that are, look like this um again this is by bp again the birthday set there's a birthday set i have and i used the baby shower set and yeah again this is in game um this was like some fun like child decors where i felt like maybe her um auntie who's a child sim might have been like i want to add this i want to add that i felt like that some of the decor also kind of gave that vibe you know and here you could see more um this is an a c is i think animal crossing uh i think that's what it stands for birthday uh gift and it's like basically a set because also this thing is also from the same set so i just used that but yeah, and then here I believe this is by Platinum Lux, and I believe this is also by Platinum Lux. So yeah, I combined a bunch of other like CCs in general that are, I'll try to list the creator names so that y'all could look up their stuff. And then here is, is by Dream Team Sims. This is again from BP, um, Brittany Pinks, I think that's their name. And then um, yeah, so this is kind of how that area looks. Again, um, I do want to show y'all that I do have ceiling emitters. I forgot where i placed it oh here it is okay so so basically if you remember i did cover ravishing's mod for y'all where it talks about like how i have like here actually let me just show y'all the vfx properly one more time but here is how the VP vfx looks like right so you just have like party lights like or sorry party streamers type of thing falling down it makes it really feel like it's a festive event right so what i do is i turn it off obviously so that y'all don't know but like you know this is what you do watch you could just press turn on and then watch like all of like that behind the scenes you'll see here it's on and then i believe there was one i put for outside and yeah that and then there was one even for the floor that you could see look oh, it just has like a party so. and vibe and it's just you can see the dancing thing you can see the symbol right there so yeah that's kind of what i do um and then you just have to have that box somewhere usually i'll just put it like i'm gonna keep it real with y'all right now here i just kind of probably kept it here because it looked like it looked like it was part of the tv box is what i'm trying to say so sometimes what i do is like i think y'all saw my previous video i kind of hide it from in the property somewhere and that's kind of what i do i'm not even gonna lie to y'all Oh, I totally also recommend this. This is part of the in-game. I believe it's from Seasons. And what you do is you could just add presents. And I just think it just adds such a fun gameplay. And like right now, Malak is a infant. But when she's a toddler, I could just probably like have her go and like open her, pres her presents, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? So it totally creates such a fun vibe. But yes, and there's even more decor here. I just had like little gifts, like, you know, because they're little kids who came to the party. I could imagine like her mother setting something up where um, I was like, okay, maybe she would have this set up for the children where they would probably go ahead and take this with them and go back home sorry these ones are by syb this is by anye party pinwheels um again this is par part of the birthday set by um uh, yeah by bp and um yeah y'all it literally and then here there's dream team sims there's a couple of the same people who created some stuff that i just used around and of course the gold sims birthday set is always so perfect because there's even like a place for face painting station so let's actually go ahead here oh wait speaking of breaking the fourth wall this is Y'all already know this. This is the freshness lot modifier. If you watch the mods videos, then you know that all my food is not going to expire while this party is going on. It could be days, weeks. No food's going to expire. Not even a party, just any reason, honestly. It's always great to have this because y'all know sometimes time be flying. You might have like made food a day before. It might have been outside. You're like, dang it, spoiled. Somebody's going to try to clean it up behind your back. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to worry about any of that with this mod. So I have that already. When I go into build mode, you can see like behind the scenes stuff already popping up for y'all. So yeah i have a bunch of stuff but yes here it's the gold sim i'm using the in-game celebration cannons if you remember if you watch the let's play there was a part where like they were like all like woo you just kind of use the celebration cannon and sims will accordingly behave but i found that i'm not gonna lie you have to finesse with events so i'm gonna talk about finesse uh actually just pretty soon if you could let me come back to that because i do want to cover some of this uh objects that i have for y'all just so that um y'all could see but yes again i individually placed these balloons myself um i did color the the wall uh and it's by syb dino uh paint and i it, you know in my mind i felt like it was probably washable paint here was though the one that the house used but then I wanted to use the one that's similar to the house's swatch, but a pinkish color for the 
birthday girl, you know? So then here it says stream me up party decorations. Oh, this is actually not CC. So this, I don't know if this is CC, honestly. It looks like it could be part of the game. Um, And here's the swatches though, just in case you're wondering. So yeah, I don't know what stuff pack or what it came from, but I just used this into the these colors, you know? Uh, I don't know if it's base game. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I really don't know, but I did use that. And then I believe this is by SYB again. It's the unicorn. I feel like Malak's probably gonna be obsessed with unicorns now that she's like a toddler. Because even though yes, she loves bumblebees, I feel like the extra thing is gonna be like the toddler phase and craze is gonna be unicorn. I feel like I don't know, but yeah. And then of course there was like this SYB birthday cake. It's a decorative one, but yeah, yeah. This is behind the scenes. Tea, and nobody ate this cake. <laughs> But I thought it was really cute because, you know, Malak's a birthday girl and, you know, it had a single candle. And I don't know, I just thought it was really fun. Again, this is part of the SYB collection. This is um, part of the toddler stuff pack. It's called the party pack. And again, SYB, SYB, SYB. Um, and this is by In a Bad Romance, the party pinwheel. And here's SYB birthday dessert trays. I thought they were really cute. And then, of course, this is by Mel Bennett the farm birthday flowers i just thought it totally went with the vibe for this birthday so i added that there and i added even i think these spring flowers which was in game i believe and let me just go check yes it's Oh no, it's not from in-game, but it, it, there is one that's from the game, but this is by a Ravishing that I used. And I thought that it was just really fun to add stuff like this. And then here was the last set of stuff that I added. This is, I believe, from uh, the City Living Lights that I just finessed and I shrunk it down uh, because I thought, it, you know, at nighttime it was going to look cute. So I always also always recommend in build mode to always look at how the lightings and stuff look at day and night. Because again, sometimes these parties can go for long periods of time. Like, look how cute this is area is at night you know but yeah again i always look at the, t the lighting during the day and night and then also i always love using these decals they're from the seasons pack i don't know personally me i just love using them and i love looking through their swatches so again for melak she has the sunny trait so i thought that would go perfectly well for her and you know her mom's a single mother so i just thought like mommy daughter you know sunny like baby vibes you know what i'm saying combine in-game cc stuff you know what i'm saying it just always goes out so nicely and this is a happy birthday sign i use multiple different signs for the birthday like y'all i went all the way up this is by simmer kate um, so yes, I just felt like it would be nice though. I could recommend y'all some of this stuff. This one is by SG515 Balloon Banner and oh, what else? Oh, I even used this like birthday um, cake thing like a box or maybe her birthday cake was in there and it's by In A Bad Romance. I don't know. I thought it was very fun and I do want to talk about food. So again, like I said, in food you prep in advance. I 100% believe that. So for me, I went with like yellow type of food and it was summer. So I wanted to go like stuff that was like grilled on the stove. So yeah, again, I kind of want if you could tell like, with the theme, like there was some wooden stuff, stuff that was like, again, barbecued. I wanted it to have like a vibe you know so for the desserts if you saw if you see i made lemon tart i had um a lemon cheesecake a lemon poppy seed cake i recommend food mods and i think next month i will be bringing out a video for y'all of the food mods that i like to use in my game so um this one might be in game but i think these are like cc it could be like from uh granny's cookbook tiana berry uh qmbb i use a couple of these modders and of course i'm gonna check y'all and try to get a, a good like food mod video for y'all out next month so yes so this is like a barbecue chicken and then of course because there's children again i always consider what age groups are going to these parties and you know the sims lifestyle is one of your sim friends a vegetarian I, oh i i got the elote out for them you know what i'm saying so you know maybe some sims are more into seafood or maybe they're just into having a cornbread like i don't know whatever it is i always just have that like set and uh for ready for sims but yeah i always believe in getting cheesecake and stuff like that for children sorry not cheesecakes sorry pizzas like a cheese pizza something very simple like either pepperoni you know what i'm saying something very simple a chicken pizza like nothing that is quote-unquote spicy you know or um you know I'm, I'm sure they probably would eat a barbecue chicken or even like a, a lobster but i always think when i think of a party from my childhood i was probably having chips and like you know like a pizza or like a little piece of a cake and stuff like that you know so yeah i think that's one of the things that i totally recommend so now i talk about gameplay talk about food prepped i kind of went through that with y'all but yeah this is kind of what i do to make sure parties are like 
fun in The Sims. I like to have, uh, I like to think all of that through for y'all. Before I even press record, I like to make sure all of that is set up, you know? And make sure that it's realistic to my Sims budget and their lifestyle, you know? So now one more thing I do want to talk about is behind the scenes. One behind the scenes tip is that I recommend you to have, and I'm going to show y'all a screenshot of how the save looks like, but I recommend you to have your save file copied for the event so that you don't mess with your current timelines gameplay because sometimes you might have to, and I'm talking about to people who record let's plays or maybe you make stories on Tumblr or, you know, maybe you just, again, don't want this to dent your storyline too much. So what I recommend is you create a copy of the save and you basically play the your gameplay of the event and I recommend this completely I think it makes your gameplay so much more fun in my personal opinion and you don't have to worry too much if the party bled into like two days of gameplay or something for whatever reason I 100% recommend you to do that um Malak what is she doing Sidebar, by the way, this is from the high school years prom banner thing that I just finessed here. And yeah, I just combined like the season stuff here also, like just to cut the colors in the room. I didn't decorate this room for the party, but I just kind of wanted to feel like, you know, everywhere is decorated. Sometimes you just got to do a little finesse here and there when you're filming. So if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So um, I do want to talk about finesse of events now, okay? So right now you can see that the event is um the family reunion. The, the finesse here is that I like to use different events for the parties. So if you know, for Angela, when I was filming this, I used the baby shower event from Growing Together to film Malak's birthday because Sims will go and give your the parents presents. And I just think that it's so realistic that if there's an, a party for like a very small baby, that maybe they don't have to give the baby the gift, they give it to the parents. And if you watch the episode, you saw that Sims kept giving Angela gifts. I don't know. I just think that not only that, but also when you have Sims gather around, here what happens is I had like the celebration cannon I just pressed start celebration cannon sequence and if you know I recommended a mod where there's no cooldown so I had everybody gather here by the way if you're wondering um, fun fact I totally recommend to have your teleporters always ready so again you're looking at behind the scenes stuff I feel like I'm breaking such a fourth wall for y'all I apologize but I recommend you to get this and just like put like 12 or whatever sims that are in the event 15 20 and just line it all here or whatever line it all here and so then what happens is you have the sims who are like the parents who are for the event and then you set a sim up i think i had like the the bartender be the sims that you know release the cannons for the family or maybe i had grandma and grandpa do it something like that you know what i'm saying so then we have everybody gathered around here and then you have the sims that are like supposed to do the birthday party what happens is that because it's a birthday shower sorry it's because it's a baby shower event they will want to celebrate even more don't know why but they don't like to celebrate that heavy for other events or even non-events but when it's that baby shower the way they behave the way these sims behave when i say they behave and they just want to party they just want to go off i just i think that's my perfect little life hack until somebody creates events that have the tuning from the baby shower event for other stuff like maybe like a birthday 2.0 type of mod i don't know for now that's kind of my finesse and then my second finesse i'll completely be honest is oh i use um sometimes the wedding story events where like sometimes like some if you have wedding story events you can kind of like tell sims go eat please sit down uh gather around here a lot a lot like there's sometimes they listen to you when you ask them to do stuff so i kind of combined like the family reunion event the baby shower event and i believe like an engagement party event because i think i was controlling daniela who's engaged and i was able to just finesse that and i really believe in when you play the sims that you have to really play with like the art of finesse and you just got of kind of like combine certain things to make your game behave the way you want and in this day and age you don't have to feel too distracted with the events you could just kind of close it out if you don't have if you don't believe in following the tasks for the event like it's not that deep you just could have it running again and the my wedding story event to run for 12 hours i don't think i have a mod that extends it but if it extends great if it doesn't i don't mind to 12 hours i'll have something else lined up or maybe the event will finish where i don't need sims to gather anymore and i want y'all to start giving me the gifts and i'm like okay time for baby shower do you get what i'm saying i also recommend creating like an area for the sim to have like their little 
you know photo shoot for the baby so i'll show you all the photo of melax baby shoe but yeah i totally recommend it but i find it cute that like this child sims just hanging around where melax photo shoot is she is actually melax little best friend's older sister fun fact so <laughs> but yeah you could see that i definitely feel like it's always fun to make it memorable again she's a bumblebee baby that's why there's bumblebees you could see that they're right here so yeah again because there's ch there's a child um sim i have like you know you know of course the tree house this is part of the house but like i like to act like they rent objects so I'll, like right now you know i get this object and i try to go with the colors that you know the home vibe so again i did have some soft browns uh, like that kind of you know sandy pink vibes and so that's how, that's how i went with it and again you know i love i love i love this so again i even had this here which is part of i believe seasons you could just turn it on kids can play together i just think it's so cute and so fun so yeah there's just here with the gameplay tips so you can see that i do i showed you all the mods that create the fun atmosphere oh my god nah he said he want to go down the slide i have a mod that enables sims but they kind of like their knees crunch and stuff y'all saw that but basically i don't mind that though like at this point but yeah look at her she's up here climbing the tree oh okay what is she doing where, where is she at what i've never seen a sim use this it's actually my first time. That was actually pretty cool to witness. But yeah, I like to have these gameplay objects because Sims interact with them. And it's like the perfect time for them to want to interact. Like sometimes it's kind of annoying outside of if parties, like it's LP moments. You're just like, oh my God, why y'all doing this? But yeah, it's so fun once everything works together. You just see Sims interact and you're just like, you know, you don't have to worry about the stress. Is the food ready? Is this ready? Is the house decorated? Is this going on? Is that going on? You don't have to worry about any of that because everything's um, like, you know what I'm saying? All the pieces are falling into place and yeah i do also recommend another gameplay tip which i when i saw her have this i was like oh so but what i do is i have a kids guests so you, so you see that now sometimes i may not be able to find sims when i want to invite them to events what i do is i use a club system and i might just have a guests and stuff like that here it is like i just have like some random clubs sometimes where i might need sims to have to invite guests over and so what i did was i ended up having angela set up a club where i could invite them over if they couldn't like if i couldn't control them long enough and i don't have the longer party mods type situation i recommend club system too like if you don't have the longer party mods i recommend and maybe you just don't want to have too many mods i recommend the club system sims will stay at your home all day until you tell them hello let me end this gathering you know so yeah i recommend that completely so the next part of gameplay i do want to talk about is like when you have events say maybe it's a dinner party if you watched a joy of life i had like a event so you want to always set the table for this one it's casual it's a kid's birthday so it's not super formal but i do have a modded one that's by um somic and sefrinka do know there's another one that exists i just didn't add it to my game yet it's by shirley sims i believe and they also have one that's for kids and actually think it's so much more par perfect for a party like this but yeah you could use the ones from the game i believe it's from either the i think it's seasons i think it's seasons or parenthood i think it's parenthood actually so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go with the in-game one and press party because i think that this is more casual and it's more maybe child a bit for, more child friendly compared to the gala one which i feel like it would be an event like maybe angela having her art gala i could do like total like gala setting and make it more fancier you know what i mean so yeah so there you go see she's setting that up and you could see it's so cute y'all like i love it so she's going to be going around the table and sometimes there may be a slot that like maybe this one she might not be able to do it oh she did it wow so i think it's because i used i used the omsp so she doesn't recognize it okay because if i did it on the table she wouldn't have done that so there is also another finesse where if you're like what the hell did she just say that didn't sound like english that's sorry i'm so sorry i'll explain to you what an omsp is which is the total finesse of decor y'all it's basically one more slot please i will link that for y'all as extras for sure um I th maybe i'll make a tumblr blog post for y'all so here's the omsp so you can see there's this block right y'all can see it it's kind of hidden you don't know so it makes stuff tightly close to each other um and you could add like decor pieces so here it is so there's it's specific heights by the way so this is dining tables height there's one for um the counter there's one for end tables beds dining chairs and coffee table so if it's your first time i'm just going to talk to you like it's your first time ever seeing it so what you do is example this thing right here like jxbb.moveobjects so when you have bb.moveobjects i think 
yeah it's going to be recognizing like hey okay i need to slot this somewhere here kind of thing so you know you just want to change it like so let's say i want to put it here and then what you do is you just change the swatch to the invisible swatch and it's as if i just was able to freely place it when no that was not the situation you know so yeah if you want i could just show you all the other table i could just right now finish it if you want for here act like you know there's food here and if you all saw angela did recognize there was an omsp there she was you know just putting the plate like it was any regular day you know so i think that's sometimes a perfect thing i do want to tell y'all a quick finesse is that these things sometimes the sim made feel like there's something object in the way of this specific area what i do is okay currently i do not have better build by but when you have better build by you can like copy objects like these that are like debug and stuff like that but because i don't have that what i do in a quick finesse right now since i don't have an example maybe she didn't recognize it what i do is i'll just put it like right here and then i'll tell her to set the table and she'll just go back to this place <laughs> and it works y'all that's what like my little finesse techniques are okay y'all i hope y'all are enjoying this video it is a bit different and again so now she's just probably confused like Alibar, what is Alibar, going on I, let me no do boy. this again oh so let's go ahead come on girly now melak is here did i invite her <laughs> i don't know if i invited her not in an offense like an offensive way but like you know my girl's dating her brother and you know the baby daddy would not want him around or her maybe but y'all already see that she knew that when she wanted to eat that she was gonna go sit and put her plate over this placement you know so anyway i do want to talk to y'all about um the finesse of just having food on the table and um a drink so i do have a food and drink right here for y'all so what i want to show y'all right now is i'm going to have angela's steady seat right here which the steady seat mod is always perfect for seating arrangements so what, here you do you have your sit and sit down right so what i recommend to you is that you pick up this serving so i have a mod that is pick up all servings that is by i believe brazen lotus and i don't need that though but there are times i may need that where i don't care what happens to the plate and it's completely empty i'll have like all like maybe eight servings and then i'll just like put it over each plate myself individually i don't need that at the moment but there are times like i need that for like example like if you remember um that one episode where it was like harvest fest everybody had the same plate so i might have cooked that same dish two times put one on the table the other one you know what i'm saying finesse it like that but i do actually want to talk to y'all about gallery quickly before i teach you all this tip and i know my brain is kind of a bit scattered i apologize for how i'm teaching you all this stuff so here quickly i do believe in like again sometimes there's moments y'all that you may not be able to cook the dishes that you want maybe the day came by too quickly for you so there's some creators who release like these rooms full of like the food so here it goes like sweet pies there is right here muffin and scones like i just go to their page and i could show y'all more one second so i have savory pies saved in a, as a room in my um library i have bread saved i have the cheese dishes saved i have experimental food saved um you know right now i could just go to um miss page right here and then i just press a few catalog miss frogstar I totally recommend y'all follow miss frogstar so you guys could get more rooms that have food in it this summer has like the debug cars and like you know what i'm saying pizzas so i even got to save some of these rooms main meals maybe you're just not into cc foods and you know you may also not had time to create like the in-game food so there's stuff like that that y'all could work with and you could have look granny's desserts there is um you know the old cheese and wine shop there's the muffins and scones there's the dine out food there's the vet clinic stuff parts that you need cookies chicken dishes like it's so great pancakes like y'all y'all see this stuff right here okay it's absolutely amazing i love it breakfast items are here there is donuts so yeah that's kind of what I recommend for y'all and I believe that's actually what I did for that one specific episode where um, Norman's family had like a dinner together. I used I believe Miss Frogstar. Uh, like now back to the life hack of how to get, you know because I've, I've been asked this hey Sasha how do you have your sim eat? food and drink at the same time so i'm just going to teach you right now so this is what you do you press pick up serving here and then you press pick up serving right so she will pick up her food and drink sometimes i'll just do pick up for like three individuals or whatever you know but at the moment i'm just going to do angela only so right now she picked up the cornbread and she picked up her drink so That's you do what you is, said. and you know what okay I my knack. <laughs> okay so now when you pick up the serving for the drink and the food it goes directly into your inventory so you drag it out of your inventory and you put it directly on the placement that your sim's going to be eating on and then for the drink you play there's a place on the right side 
every time by the way for your sim that you have to put it and it literally clicks to it what you do is you just make sure always to put it on the right side so all the tables that's what i do so when i have events i always make sure to I, mentally now i learned that it slots to the right side so see like that okay like that like that there it is y'all it's just so simple and now i'm just gonna tell her to eat but since she's on the steady seat she will probably not want to stand up so she's just gonna be eating and she's probably gonna be drinking at the same time so her drink is gonna yep it just went down here it is she's eating her food she's enjoying it and her drink is right next to her so she could eat her food and drink it at the same time so yeah but for her she's probably really hungry because she finished that meal quickly but you can see that with the steady seat the sim will sit down eat their food drink their meal and also they could converse with other sims next to them they will you know their bum is glued to that chair which makes it so excellent for that reason that's pretty much how i do that so now y'all know and again i recommend y'all to also download this one the serve drinks mod i believe it's by zero so maybe like again because this event is for children i don't want them to you know drink this um or even there's teens maybe i don't want them to drink that so what i would do is i would um just go and search orange or like lemonade and then i'll just have her and she'll autonomously go around the table and set that up and put like an orange juice for over each place kind of thing so y'all will just quickly see that as another quick gameplay tip but yeah y'all can see that there's orange juice lemonade whatever you want to do soda cans you know and if i feel like Lemonu. the drinks is not where i want it to be <laughs> example um i'll just you know i'll just move it here and you know angela will continue trying to fill those slots so i'll always keep an eye and pay attention with what works what doesn't work you know what i'm saying i forgot to talk to y'all about the whole serving table itself is so important so if y'all have a luxury party i believe there's other packs like even my wedding stories that has this serving table there's just something so amazing about having the serving table y'all see just the vibes like i don't know it's just so immaculate to me that's just the way i could describe it i love using the serving tables and stuff and stuff y'all can see there's like so many plates around here so just make sure your bb dot move object is available and y'all will have a good time and i recommend you know if you don't want to put too much food on your table and you just want to have it all somewhere together but you don't know how you want to do it serving table to the rescue i totally recommend that 100 so what i like to do is i like to have designated sims um sometimes for certain events depends uh to, like example for growing together i have certain sims who worked as the mixologists um you know like for the party planning all that um if y'all watched my lp then you know that i had that so here i could just show y'all my gallery right here they are there they go event planners and you know i do I, they are cc and i probably use some cc presets so if you want to remix them to how they fit your game i totally recommend it and i don't know if i cheated their skills but maybe i might have after the fact that i uploaded them but yeah you could see that sometimes i will release some random sims on my gallery so if you ever want to follow me there um yeah so here it just says event planner so boom i just have that those sims available for me in my game oh yes another important tip is lock the doors y'all lock the doors for rooms before you start your party okay so right now um for me thankfully nobody's in the rooms but like i usually am pretty like you know i make sure that i don't play around i usually say everyone unless it's a bathroom uh, even maybe sometimes the upstairs bathroom i just don't want you to go upstairs i'll just say lock everyone so i'll press that multiple times making sure that no sim can enter rooms sometimes i might do lock for everyone but household members for certain rooms but yeah i totally recommend you always make sure you're like have all these stuff checked out before your party actually starts because it's always so important that you have that ready these are kind of like the tips that i have right now for you if i have more i'll definitely put it for you on my tumblr blog post thank you so much for watching this video my name is sasha and i wish y'all a lovely lovely day take care